Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your reading for Thursday, October 21st, 2021. Now this is for everyone, so please take it as it resonates and, and leave behind what does it. I feel like these messages will apply because of the specific decks I'm using. So I'm looking for generalized messages for the collective during this Hunter's Moon um, season because uh, the moon is still 99% big at this time so it's still very active let's see 99% full you got the grand cross cross the provoker and this is what this moon is it's provoking you you know many people will feel it very harshly and many people won't I don't subscribe to this to the theory that certain zodiac signs will feel it more harsher or this or that. I think as human beings, the more elevated we are, the more connected we are to the moon. So those who are more connected, those who are consciously working on their spirituality and those who, who, who are not, for some reason, you're gonna be very provoked during this time. Uh, you could be very angry, you could be very motivated, you could be a combination of those too. It's for growth. It's going to push you. Part of fortune increase. So this is what this hunter moon is about. Going after what you want. Going after your dreams and aspirations. I mean, two great cards, especially for what's happening uh, during this week. I'm actually filming this the morning of October 20th. Um, I had an intense, intense experience last night. I think maybe I'll make a video about that. Believe in the impossible, the blue moon, right? This is a turning point. This is a turning point for society. This is a turning point for you. This this is um, a force that will raise the consciousness of everyone in the world, right? Whether you believe in this or not something will happen where you're, you're just gonna be able to vibrate higher you know i'm not saying super high because then we would you know we wouldn't have any hate or hunger but you know something is definitely happening you can feel it it's in the air the energy is <laughs> gaining momentum um just what i've been saying so like the energy is gaining momentum um it's indescribable um, if you can go out and moon bathe, you know, you, if you're, you're into crystals, put your crystals out there, but it's, it's very intense and it's very interesting. I, you know, I've, I've been listening to other people who read and other spiritual advisors and although people have, you know, um, an idea of what's going on because we've had this before in history, there is something else that you just can't quite explain you have the nine of swords this is what we need to work on we need to work on pushing past those fears and hunting whatever it is you want to do you know if you want to improve your health if you want to go back to school if you want a different job if you want a raise if you want a promotion this is the time to put the energy forth because timing is on your side final card here is the queen of wands it's the ace of wands it's a very spiritual card you know aces are the beginnings are the spark of of thought are the spark of ideas all of them it's just the beginning of something new and with this ace of wands is the fire the fire has been lit the fire has been lit for you the fire has been lit for the world what are you going to do with it right what are you going to do with it um five of wands on the bottom of the deck which goes with this beautifully uh because this is that internal struggle the internal struggle of us wanting to go back to or stay the same like why would we want to do that we need to arise what if i choose more wisely how i invest my time Invest your time in yourself, in your growth. You have four cards for I'm going to read them all. What if I accept my magnificence? What if I stop feeling guilty about the past? That is your block. 
that is what the full moon is about giving up what no longer serves us what if i take myself lightly and have more fun nothing heals like laughter nothing heals or raises your vibration than congregating with like-minded people people who think like you people who uh, not that you're supposed to just be around people who think like you you're supposed to have opposing thought because then it allows you to learn more but when you're around people who you vibe with there is a feeling of joy. What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. And this is your Thursday uh, reading for October 21st, 2021.